Who's that? Me. Can't see me. <laughs>
Uh, something like that. Banks failing. And what the hell else? The Restrict Act and Patriot School Act shootings. of Tech. I'll get the shooting thing out of the way first because yeah, I'm not going to cover that a lot. Specifically because on YouTube, maybe I'll cover it. Maybe I'll talk about it a little bit at the end of the show because then I'll just cut it off the YouTube one and just keep it on for the rumble. I gotcha. Because YouTube, because of the fact it involves a trans and there's a manifesto and there's a lot of questions, a lot of things involved with it, YouTube being YouTube will probably put a strike on the channel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or at the very least, just delete the video. So I wanted to talk about it, but there's a few other like prominent podcasts that are like, mm, no, nah, I'm not going to touch it. So I'm like, well, if these bigger ones that generate money aren't going to touch it, probably a safe bet that I shouldn't really talk about it. I mean, when you got nothing else to lose, what's wrong with game one? But... <laughs> the next channel, if that happens, the next channel, we'll just switch spots and call it a different show. I'll wear a hat backwards. Wait a minute. Are these the same guys? Nope. I don't nope. think so. That one's wearing I'll a use hat. that background finally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, yeah, there's that. and which I Yeah, I do have. Yeah, no, that's fine. We could touch on that at the end. And uh, Jane Fonda says Murder the Right, which that was. Mm. Did you look that up? I think I sent that to you. You but, sent it to me. I yeah. watched that video, but I haven't had much of a chance to really dive into some of these things the return of racial segregation from the black community which is interesting oh jeez <laughs> i put words in my mouth <laughs> it's slippery oh <laughs> uh, yeah so quick rundown of the show and there's a few other things mixed in there but the trump thing yeah <laughs> um this is, I, <laughs> you think that's what Stormy Daniels is talking about? Is that what she heard? Is that what she was doing? What, was that 2006? I don't fucking remember. It was 2006 when the whole thing happened. And then 2016 when the, when the, <laughs> when the, their manifesto came out about the hush money thing. The accusation. What kind of match so, won't light a candle? Uh, I don't know. A wrestling match. No, but it might light a table. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go. Yeah. Got, some, got some sugar in my system. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, hey, there's still a cricket lake here. <laughs> Do you want yours? What the fuck? I ate all mine. Nice try. That fault the one you went you gave to Uncle Mark. <laughs> that you ended up eating because he wouldn't do it. Yeah, that's, that's true. Didn't eat your future food. What? Jeez. Yeah, You're going to starve. Yeah, so it was... <laughs> it was... Uh, I think I'll have mine now. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to survive on? <laughs> hey, who ate mine? <laughs> Sorry, that's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so they 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 claim this is what two weeks ago now at this yeah. point or a week and a half ago anyway, they claimed they were going to indict Trump, which right off the bat everyone was like, oh shit. But then it was like, oh the Stormy Daniels story. He's like, Wait, this is the third time they tried to go after him for this, <laughs> three times. The last two times they had nothing on him, so they tried to go again. The whole thing with the whole Stormy Daniels hush money Trump, whatever. I get they allegedly hooked up in 2006 and in 2016 2016 there was uh what was 130 or 113 thousand dollars paid out to stormy daniels as hush money and that came out of uh michael cohen paid for that out of his pocket so what they're trying to do is say well michael cohen paid for it and then that was uh, reimbursed by Trump, but Trump never reimbursed them. So, like, judging off or based off that, they've got nothing on them. So, an indictment means they just are approaching a judge to say, hey, we want to indict Trump. 
we have this evidence. Mm-hmm. That's the indictment. It doesn't mean he's going to trial or anything like that. It just means, hey, we, we want to present you with evidence to try to bring him to trial. They said, fine. So they do that. They've got nothing on him. They postponed it a week. Uh, that led up to last week. And then I just read again that they just, this was, I think this is from Ground News from yesterday. Um, yep, here we go. From yesterday, Trump grand jury won't consider hush money probe again this week. So they just keep pushing it off. And now they said there might not be an indictment until next month, which actually would be in a few days. But mm. So this just keeps putting push, pushed off further and further. The thing with the whole thing is what he's being uh, accused of is a misdemeanor in New York State. And with statute of limitations in New York State, a misdemeanor, can you can only go back two years. And now the hush money deal is 2016. That's way Seven. beyond the statute of limitations. Yep. So there's nothing they can do there. And because Cohan wasn't reimbursed by Trump or in any, there was nothing taken out of any um, uh, campaign funds, anything like that, there's no money given back to Cohan. That's why back Cohan was so pissed off because actually Cohan ended up doing prison because th- that's a whole other story. So Cohan paid basically to became... I keep this bitch quiet because she sucked his dick and I go to jail for it? What the what fuck? What the fuck? I guess I'd be pissed too. <laughs> but that's like... Cohan but, became a never-Trumper. Cohan was in his camp in the beginning for the first uh, presidential run and then now he's like a never-Trumper. But... How many people get to say, you know, I, I paid fucking the president to get banged? No, it's I paid for the the, the broad to shut her fucking mouth. <laughs> And then she didn't anyway. Not many people get to keep that. Not many people get to say that in their lifetime. It's true. Well, Monica. <laughs> Gosh, she looked beautiful in that dress. She even entertained for royalty. Even the president. <laughs> for those of you who don't know. It was 130000 2016. Yeah. Yeah. That's Still, that's ridiculous. Said the new letter from 2018 showing Michael Cohen paying money out of pocket and not being reimbursed by Trump, effectively showing no ties to the Trump campaign funding. So, that's why when that came out, like my initial reaction was because when it first came out, I didn't know what the hell they were talking about at first. I was like, he's being indicted, but they're like, I I didn't get any clear of like on what. So my initial reaction before I even knew what it was about or anything like that is he's being indicted to probably, and my uncle said, well, probably for a perp walk, probably to get that image of the perp walk, him being arrested, being walked to the car, you know, read his Miranda yeah. rights. And there's another thing, too, what they tried to do. I think, I don't know, if, I think it was MSN. Leslie, uh, what was her name? I don't know. I, I don't know who, but what they tried to do was give the image of it being a felony because the, one of the headlines that was read was Trump, uh, if he's indicted, will be read his Miranda rights as is done in most felony charges. See, they didn't say that he was being charged with a felony. What they did was say he'll be read his Miranda rights like they do when they arrest felons. Which gives the image to anyone who doesn't really know what's going on. It's like, a felony? Jeez, what'd he do? Which is paints a bad image and oh, yeah. it was just try to get him away you know from the election and all that bullshit going further than that i think there's more to it than i think there's more to it than just trump being indicted i think well one the left has like this trump derangement syndrome which we've talked about before it's been talked about all over crowd oh, yeah. crowder and tim pool and all, they all fucking talk Shapiro, about it Kirk, as, yeah as soon as everybody you, as soon as you hear or as soon as like the woke extreme left hears trump it's like it's like fucking groundhogs into hmm? what? Prairie dog, prairie dog, prairie dog syndrome. Whatever the fuck it is, yeah. <laughs> but at the same time that happens, this is in the as that's happening. This is at the same time we have those two major banks and the states crumble, and then I think one over in Europe and one in Asia, somewhere in Asia, I think. There was like six that were on the verge. Or at least on the verge, if not, did crumble like the two here, that being um, Silicon Valley. Yeah. And then um, 
Oh, what the hell is the other one? Um, KeyBank? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, Signature Bank. Yeah, okay. That one. Silicon Valley lost $209 billion. And then KeyBank, well, the federal government came in. Yeah, KeyBank. <laughs> And then KeyBank, I don't know if they lost anything. Signature Bank. <laughs> Signature Bank lost uh, $110 billion. Uh, while that was going on, and that was because of a multitude of reasons. So that's going on, which shakes up everyone's confidence in our banking systems across. Because everyone, like right down to small credit unions and everything, are like, eh. and people are like, should I worry about my money now? If these huge, like... Silicon Valley Bank is a major fucking tech uh, loan bank, basically. Yeah. If they're going under, who's to say any other banks? You know, any other bank's not safe. If the big banks who are untouchable go down, the little banks who are easy pickings clearly not untouchable. Yeah. Well, that's the that's the mindset. Yeah. That's sort of, yeah. So that's happening, and then on top of that, which I'll kind of cover with the. Well, I'll just go over it now. The Silicon Valley thing that, um, there, ooh, listen to that wind out there. That's a gale. That's a blustery day, night, whatever it is. So, as the gale washed over me. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I really got that gale going. <laughs> hey! down out there um yeah so there's a timeline of like what actually happened mm. oh i thought i was gonna say just, i saw that yeah i was like oh well, i was like i just read it maybe an hour ago so and it's pulled redacted yeah yeah all right so i'll just read this it was from cnn okay so it says why did it fail in short svb encountered a classic run on the bank the long version is a bit more complicated. Several forces collided to take down the banker. First, there was the Federal Reserve, which began rising interest rates a year ago to tame inflation. The Fed moved aggressively, and higher borrowing costs sapped the momentum of tech stocks that had uh, benefited SVB. Mm -hmm. Higher interest rates also in, uh, eroded the value of long-term bonds that SVB and other banks gobbled up during the area of ultra-low, near-zero interest rates. SVB's $21 billion bond portfolio was yielded an average of 1.79%. Uh, the current 10-year Treasury yield is about 39 At the same time, venture capital began drying up, forcing startups to draw down funds held by SVB. So the bank was sitting on a mountain of unrealized losses and bonds just as the pace of customer withdrawals was escalating. And then it's caused a panic. So on that Wednesday, this would have been March 10th, SVB announced it had sold a bunch of securities at a loss, and that would also sell $2.25 billion in new shares to shore up its balance sheet. That triggered a panic. So now what you're, hap what you're seeing there is the stock of SVB just completely fucking plummet. Tank. So, of course, everyone's going to be like, jump ship. Oh, shit. Yeah. Um, the triggered a... A panic among key venture capital firms who reportedly advise companies to withdraw their money from the bank. So it's not like people drawing, withdrawing their money. It's major companies. Uh, hold for a second. Not a very common... After these call. messages, we'll be right back. Hey, what's going on, man? What's going on, buddy? Hey, what's going on? Okay. And we're back. So, yeah. Stocks drop, ban and ship. <laughs> all right. So, yeah. So, reportedly advised companies to withdraw their money from the bank. So, like, yeah. So, it wasn't people withdrawing money. It was major companies withdrawing their money. Which so, has which is gonna major make amounts. Yeah. And when it comes... So... This is the best way I can 
think of how to describe this really quick for those of our listeners who don't know much about investing and banking and loaning and interest and all that shit. When I don't know if much of our listeners loan anything. <laughs> maybe, maybe like a box of condoms. <laughs> Here, can I borrow a condom? This I love our... you guys. But... <laughs> hey, do you have a condom I can borrow? Am I going to get it back? Do, do you really want it back? Yes. yes. <laughs> Fuck you. Inflation. <laughs> well, you can see where our mind goes. <laughs> Those shits are expensive. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Under the sink. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Um, I'll just roll it. <laughs> put it back on the seal. <laughs> Blow dryer. Anywho, yeah. So, go yeah. On. Go so, on with your analogy. Okay. So, all these people, all these companies, they borrow this money. Now, all this money's got to come from somewhere. Mm. Mm, it doesn't really exist. It's all just numbers on a computer. Well, I mean... So, hold on. Now, when they loan you this money that they've borrowed from another, you know, the Federal Reserve or whatever, now you got to give them money back with interest because they got to give that money back to somebody else too. That money ends up getting shifted and invested and loaned to other people so that all this money coming in collecting all this interest puts them in the the pro, you know gives them their profit well they're buying and selling debt that's a portion of where banks assets mm. come from but stocks and bonds it's also yeah. another one but that one is you're banking on the stock or the bonds um increasing in value but if you short it if you sell it early you're selling basically you're you're, you're the banks are selling at a loss and that's what they did and some of what they did to try to make up what they were already losing okay so the bank stock began plummeting thursday morning and by the afternoon it was dragging other bank shares down with it as investors began to fear a repeat of the 2007-2008 financial crisis, which in those years, I think in 2008, like 25 banks went under. And in 2009, as a result of that, like another 100 or 110 banks went under. So that was huge. Yeah. Like right now, we're, they were looking at two banks and some of them that were kind of shaky. Uh, by Friday morning, trading in SVB shares was halted and had a, uh, abandoned efforts to quickly raise capital to find a buyer. California regulators intervened, shutting the bank down and placing it. That's where, you know, the government came in and just basically took over the bank and were like, all right, we're closing doors. So they just closed it before it just kind of broke open and just blew up, basically. <laughs> Jesus. But then after that, that's when you started to get, like, fears through other banks and everyone's like, should I pull out my money? I was like, well. Mm. So, yeah, that... That happened, going back to the whole Trump thing that came out, the, the banking thing happened. And at the same time that was happening, we also had the Saudis making a deal with China oh. and Russia. And, that reminds me of something. And with the whole deal with China and Russia, they're planning on, if, if, if they make a deal and they join BRICS, they will trade, they're possibly going to trade use yen the yen as their currency in trading oil or gas so if they do that that basically on the global market the u.s dollars chop yeah and and the united it, states don't really have a seat at the table not anymore so <clears throat> if that happens that kind of puts us at, there's now there's going to be well i guess it's still considered two it'd be two superpowers but, I mean, really, it's because Russia and China are basically teaming up for this, along with Brazil. Um, and what was it? India? Yeah. Well, speaking of China, was it Iran? Who was it? They brokered peace. China brokered peace. I heard some kind of rumbling about that. That's legit. But what was it exactly? Um, like I, I heard something about that. So, something about some deal that went on, and I heard something about peace, and then like China. 
um, Xi Jinping actually brought peace in the Middle East. I'm like, oh my God, he's he's the Antichrist. Then. <laughs> China's in the first power. Iran. Iran. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. China's interference in the Middle East is empowering Iran. Right. China brokered a deal between Saudi Arabia and Iran. All right. Yeah. It's a yeah. So there's yeah, China and Russia are creating this like Eastern superpower. That the way and they're using the gold as gold. They're using gold standard. They're not using the American dollar. The, the American dollar. If this keeps going the way it's going, the American dollar is not going to be the global reserve anymore. No, it's really not. And what's going on now too is America is starting to pump up their ag- aggression toward China. Maybe in the right, maybe not. But what it's doing, they're. I guess they're going to build. S- how many more bases? Like. S- for the number seven, 74, 78 new bases in the Philippines. And China said, if you do that, that is an act of war. And like, man, you are fucking... Which I think would put our bases around the globe. At like, or no, I think they're going to make three new bases there. And that would put our bases around the globe at like 754 fucking bases around the globe. Oh, my God. Completely unnecessary. Yeah. So... They're going like I I didn't I wasn't going to cover that so I don't have any notes about that in front of me but I think those are roughly the numbers. But yeah, so America now is being the aggressor, uh, basically because I think uh, like everyone in America or everyone in the United States anyway, everyone in the states and government and the military industrial complex <clears throat> knows if this goes on, like n- we're no longer the superpower that we've been for what, since the forties. I was to say yeah, like, for a long time now. Good handful of decades, I was going to say. So, here's the thing, though. Go ahead. Do you think this is... I almost feel like this is this is sort of like a... Trump was just sheep. Or wool over sheep's eyes. Like To me, that's what it was. After... Yeah. We didn't just initially, like, and when the whole Trump thing first happened, it's like, fuck, I want to have a show right now to talk about it. But I'm like, no, because we had just, literally, it was the day before we shot the last show. Mm. And then that Sunday, or whatever day it was, Saturday, yeah, it was Saturday, that came out. And I'm like, fuck, man, we just, I want to, like, talk about this. But then I'm like, you know what, it's kind of good that we didn't, because it was so early, there was really no definitive anything that was going on. I'm like, let's wait until this kind of pans out. And I'm glad that we waited like a week and a half to shoot the next show because a lot of shit panned out and a lot of stuff happens. Okay, the Trump thing's bullshit. That's just kind of divert people's attention. And it's really easy to do, especially in the last few years after January 6th. Really easy to do. You say Trump and everyone's like... Ah. You mean the worst, Travis, like the most tragic event in Right up there history? with 9-11 and Pearl Harbor. I mean, 9-11 yes. and Pearl Harbor were like... Kids getting pushed down at the playground. Yeah, that's like Bush League now, I guess. January 6th was a true (laughs) tragedy. According to the fucking woke cult. Yeah. I mean, that's borderline as bad as slavery and the Holocaust. It's up there. It's definitely up there. Yeah, so that happens. And then meanwhile... um, Meanwhile, the whole BRICS thing happens with Saudi Arabia. And apparently Iran and Saudi Arabia... And and um, well, the banking system failing. And then on top of that, there was the Restrict Act that's come out, which I've heard more and more about that in the last few uh, days. You're talking about in reference to Twitter, TikTok, and all that stuff? TikTok, and it goes so social beyond. Media. It goes beyond social media. Really? Yeah. It go, we're talking about transactional apps. There's nothing to fucking do with social media. It goes... For, did, have you read it? I've heard... I'll I'll send you a link. Send like, me a link because I've heard TikTok is like the face value. They're trying to put they're that putting in the, TikTok in the light. There. Yeah, they're putting TikTok in the front in the limelight of this whole act. So, so like, everything behind listen, the shadows you don't pay attention. This to. is the fucking Patriot Act of of tech, and the Patriot Act they basically gave the United States government, or in this case, it's the uh, Chamber of Commerce. Virtually full access to everybody's information during the Patriot Act after 9-11. Yeah. This is the tech version of that. They're saying, well, TikTok is a foreign entity and they're data harvesting us and everything's TikTok's doing the same fuck other than being a part of the CCP, which by no means like that's not a good thing, obviously. 
but the way they're paying pegging it is like TikTok is uh, harvesting your data and selling it off to blah 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 blah. blah. So does fucking Facebook. Mm-hmm. So does Instagram. So does TikTok, anything Meta's Twitter, under. So does Twitter. Twitch, so does YouTube. Uh, so does Google. So does An- they all do it. Safari, it's free fire. market data. Free market data means I could go out there. Uh, get a loan, start a digital fucking company, and then start harvesting data, selling it or buying it, and then creating profiles on people, and then just sell my product. Anybody can fucking do it. Now, it's kind of a hyperbole. I don't have, you know, $100 million to start a tech company, but it's free. Oh, I got you right here. Yeah. Oh, thanks. It's free market data. That 50 bucks would probably help me start. <laughs> anyway. I kill. <laughs> that, th- it's free market data. So... They're using TikTok, which is called it's a member of the CCP. Sure, that's bad. But what they're saying is like, mm, all fucking platforms do that. Like, give me a break. But what they're doing, what they what they added to it was, and uh, let's see, Congress passed. All right, before I read that, this is the the Restrict Act. This is from CoinCenter.org. I took this quote off of it. Because also, the c- cryptocurrency is under this. And I, I get a theory on that, too. Tinfoil hat theory. But <laughs> I think it's fucking warranted. Because how many times? Anyway. Have we joked and made jokes. And, and oh, if I it hasn't that- come directly, it's come pretty fucking close. And to me, that's close enough. The Restrict Act, introduced by Senators uh, Warner and Thune, or Thune, aims to block or disrupt transactions and financial holdings involving foreign adversaries that pose risk to national security and with foreign adversaries if you read the act it's the way it's written they make it so it's so subjective to foreign adversaries they could just deem someone's like it might not even it might be with france or something and be like eh, it could be a foreign adversary we don't like this company because they're also dealing in china so that's a foreign adversary that gives them fucking full free reign to, to go wherever they want do whatever they want in any company and be like mm, elon musk he's from south africa foreign adversary like it, it's it's so subjective um although the primary targets of this legislation are companies like tiktok eh, the language of the bill could potentially be used to block or disrupt cryptocurrency transactions and in extreme cases block americans access to open source tools or protocols like bitcoin With the cryptocurrency thing, my theory on that is, that, I mean, the banking systems have been shutting down, which if if you ask some, like, out there, maybe not out there, conspiracy theorists, like, that's by design. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's just a fluke, like what I just read earlier. The cryptocurrency thing... This summer, I believe, they're going to introduce FedCoin or something along the lines of FedCoin, the Federal Federal, federal crisp Cryptocurrency, mm-hmm. which is obviously completely controlled by them, which wouldn't be open source, it wouldn't be blockchain, like Bitcoin. It would be completely controlled, and you wouldn't be able to, they would be able to monitor every transaction, and you wouldn't be able to see what they're doing. That's why it's not open source code. That's why every you see a lot of tech people say free the code. Because if if Twitter, if Facebook and all of them, if YouTube freed their software code, one, it wouldn't be a I mean not I guess you can't really can maybe you can consider it a monopoly. I'm not in the like tech legality and everything, but you'd be able to see exactly what they're doing data wise. You could see how they're profiling you, what they're, yeah, exactly, who they're selling it to. Like, and uh, honestly, if data is worth as much as it's worth, this is kind of a half side note, I think every person that has a profile on internet for whatever they do, wherever they go, whatever they order, anything, I think they should get some kind of percentage cut because you, your data is being traded, making billions of dollars for different companies and millionaires, multi-millionaires over millions of people. And you don't see a cent. But you know, if they did that, you know what would happen? Every social media app, you'd have to charge money. That's why they're all free. Well, no, 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 no. Here's you'd the thing. You'd be charged. You know why they can't do that? Why? Why, 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 why you won't? Well, they can't do what? Why you won't see people get money 
for their data. Why? Do you agree to these? Do you agree to these terms? Yeah. The terms. If the, you the, read, the terms and conditions that are eight hundred pages long. That ninety nine percent of the people just go. No, not even. You don't even have to scroll. Remember how back on the day when that first started, you had to scroll to the end before the accept box would yeah. light up? It still does that. No. A lot of them, it's already ready. You just click it and go. You don't have to read anything. Oh, well, and the mortgage mm -hmm. payments I make. So, in there, all they got to do, you want this app to be free? Agree to not charge us for your yeah, data. Cause, yeah, you're right. Some of them will just have a small box before you open up the whole box, but it'll have the accept or decline button. And it's already lit up. And you don't even have to open the box. You can just see, like, the first paragraph of the terms. And this is, like, All page the, one of, like, 98. And you're this, like, oh, yeah. This Except. license agreement terminology thing that you are about to read is 998 pages long. And we like to touch ourselves while we write these. And you don't even read past the second sentence. Yeah. Click agree to accept and get your free app. Cool. You click agree. Door opens up. Uh, I'm here to punch a kid in the face. What? You agree to it. Yep. Where? On page 722. Of the terms and conditions that you just agreed to? Shit. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? It's all yours. But that's that's it. And it, it also, I mean, uh, yeah, so protocols, Bitcoin, blah, blah, blah. It also allows the banning of VPNs. The way it's worded, you can ban, ban VPNs, which a lot of YouTubers use VPNs. Well, not even you. I mean, they probably do, but a lot of like the major YouTubers, they get, um, they're sponsored by VPN, Express VPN. They're sponsored by it. They get their money. So if they start doing that, well, there's a lot of sponsorship that's going to disappear. See, which to me, this just, it just sounds like a huge tech version of censorship yeah. because now they're just going to give one entity full power to go in the internet and be like mm, that's that could be dangerous and just give you a bullshit so, example okay like, let me let me throw another angle at you this might be conspiracy theory put your tinfoil hat on if you want one day we're going to have one <clears throat> we should keep it right here like the conch <laughs> i am the conch <laughs> my turn um is it really like oh, i don't like that or or you know, oh, I don't like what this guy is for any of those. We're not going to use it or we're going to ban it or whatever. Or is it a way for them to come in? I mean, what did Hitler do during the Holocaust? He controlled the output of information. Yeah. Of information. Only what he approved was allowed to go out. Right. But so now, I mean, yeah, oh, if ahead. you have an entity, if you have one organization, one entity, being able to control everything and decide what's good and what's not and what can be on and what can't. Mm. You can create a very biased, very, even on TV. What's to say they won't go after television shows and stuff like that? No doubt. This is all stuff that if they don't, whoever is in the helm, whoever's behind that steering wheel, <clears throat> I don't like this. And they stare it one way and everything else disappears. No doubt. I mean, they already do it. With, I mean, look at during the pandemic. Yeah, but now, yes. But they, they tried. No, I mean, with, not with internet because that's where a lot of free information was. But what I'm saying is during the pandemic, they did just that on like CNN. But. On news, on news facets. And they could vastly controlled if you had a doctor come out and say, what, uh, uh, um, Dr. Malone and McCollin, Peter McCollin. They come out and be like, this vaccine is not what you think it is. And for whatever reason they put out there, some are a little more extreme than others, and some are like, well, maybe. But, I mean, a lot of people just would take the facts, or pick the facts out of people that were, uh, um, quote, anti-vaxxers at the time, and be like, well, maybe there's some merit there. And all these other um, media outlets were like these guys are anti-vaxxers they're they're gonna be what well, biden said it's gonna be the winner of death is like ev everyone across the board on on like left-wing media was this has become a pandemic of the unvaccinated how many fucking times did you hear that all the time you're right B but that's them controlling that and but anytime anyone came out with like uh, like remember joe rogan he's like well i beat this i threw the kitchen sink at it no vaccination or anything. And he came out and he said, I took this, this, that, you know, I took uh, uh, a vitamin C drip. I took uh, ivermectin. That was just ivermectin. one little thing he threw in there. It wasn't like this, like, this is what solved it. But then the left, like, 
looked at it and be like, what, ivermectin? Oh, that's also used in horse dewormer? Well, he's taking horse dewormer. And then they blew that, ran with that story just to get it away from there and be like, no, the vaccine's right. Ivermectin's fucking dead. You're right. They tried. But right. you could still go on the internet. Well, that's what you I mean. You still find there were Fox News, MSNBC, CNN, ABC. They all spun their angles. Right. You didn't have one side and only one side. Right. You had multiple facets right. to look through. With this sort of thing, that could, that that will cease to exist. The fact that we could sit here and talk about what we think, right. but never be able to find it on the internet because it's gone. See what <clears> you do now? Like Google is basically that. Oh yeah. Like you can search for things that are outside of the like the I say accepted narrative or whatever, but you got to go through you Google. You got to dig. Yeah, you got to dig. See, Google is that. And with this, I think what you're trying to say, too, is there won't be, it's not going to be Google, it's just going to be the internet. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter whether you go to dogpile.com, whether you, you go click, to Yahoo, whether you go to Google, whether you, you go to DuckDuckGo. It's, you click the internet button, and whatever they approve will be the standard is what all that will pop up. I mean, yeah, this is a jump. Gofuckyourself.com. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is a jump. <laughs> That's what it would be. <laughs> this is a jump from where we're at. But I think the point, like, when we go on these rants like this is... We said the same shit about Australia. Look what fucking happened. Yeah. but Well, that's the thing is the point of it is when we go off on rants like this or anybody who's even vaguely a conspiracy theorist, when they go off on these rants and people that don't really know what's going on hear those rants, they're like, there's no fucking way that would happen. Because from the starting point here to that, that's quite the fucking jump. But all you have to do is look back in especially the last three or four years and look at things, where they started and where they ended up. Like, we're in such a time right now where everything's so fucking censored. And what doesn't help either is the social social media. But because of social media, over the last, what, 2008 is when it blew up. So over the last 10, 15 years, social anxiety and, like, the social oh everything God. is blown up to such... There's so much mental disorder now. I, I'd say conservatively, 85% of it is because of social media. Because of that, and then this constant flow of just negative news and just all this bullshit. We're in constant crisis mode because of all this shit. Someone coming in, like the government, say... And being, oh, we have a we have a solution for all this. We're gonna help you. Which what Reagan said. That's like the worst fucking thing. Yeah. yeah. The government comes. Oh, we're the government in here to help. What do you got? Hold on. Um, might be a little bit down the way of what you want to talk about. Well, let me just finish this. Part. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. So this is yeah. Sorry. So yeah, we're, we're, uh, going from like a starting point to like jumping to those crazy conclusions it might seem crazy but the fact is is like there's so many there's so many red flags for shit like this to happen and when you see something like this restrict act and you read through it and be like man there's a lot of vague terminology and a lot of just like well in this case we could see this as a problem so we're giving us the ability to go in and just like deal with it and get rid of it, which on surface, like, I was like, well, yeah, you should be able to do that. But then that also opens the door to a lot of other shit that isn't really good. Oh, yeah. What do you got? Hold on. I'm trying to find the fucking video. God damn it. Not so, to mention we're in constant crisis mode, which, what was that, uh, that K uh, KGB Remember the the we talked about like a year ago. The Cold War. The KGB, uh, yeah, the KGB defector. Yeah. He was talking oh, about yeah. like the process of the uh, de de uh, destabilizing a, na yeah. uh, a nation. And and doing that is basically creating a crisis. We are in constant crisis mode. Fuck I mean, one thing like bad negative news always gets like positive press. Like everyone always just talks about it, gravitates to it, including us. For the most of the shit we talk about is just crazy. Where it makes you like every time I read, I'm like, what the fuck? But. We're, the whole nation is constantly in crisis mode. If it's not one thing, it's another. So we have bird flu and eggs are disappearing off the shelves. And we have oh, trains in Ohio derailing. Oh, my God, the, the chemicals are going to go all the way up to Canada. Then after that, Trump's being indicted. Then we have possible World War III. And then, added on, this is going back to the Russia thing. Remember the nuclear submarine we were talking about a few months back? Mm -hmm. The tsunami maker? Russia tested that missile. Not the tsunami, not the nuclear one, but they tested the missile. 
So you have that, and then you have BRICS and the Saudis and Iran being uh, brought together by China, and then you know, like the banking crisis. Like there's a constant, there's always a crisis. It's like problem, 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 crisis, problem, 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 crisis. Just a constant flow, which is makes everyone fucking like mental disorders again. Go, just go batshit crazy, and like what's his face? I can't remember his name. Uh, the KGB defector. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah talks about that's you know that destabilizes people because now they don't have any faith in their government which frankly i don't i don't i don't i don't think many people do what the fuck come on what are you looking for there was a video i saw where this guy is standing in front of a committee Mm -hmm. talking about an issue with a video where a trans woman trans woman Man, man into a woman, and man into a woman, right. man being a woman, right? Um, he's literally posing in front of a mirror in a woman's bathroom, and at certain points, he's pulling up his skirt and jerking off, and then puts it down. And at one point, there is a uh, a woman that walks in and out, washes her hands, goes about her business, I'm trying to find that video. It's it's disgusting. It should be like really close. Should be able to find it. I'm so close. I'm so close. I'm right there. I'm right there. No, I'm still having fun. <laughs> so while you look for that, yeah, talking sorry. about we'll just kind of go along. The there's a apparently. Oh, here we go. Okay. What a woman is. It's such a strange time to be alive. Um. So on social media, if you haven't seen today, there is a video kind of going viral. There is this alleged woman that is masturbating in a women's bathroom. So uh, let me clarify. Sorry. This woman has a penis, and she is stroking it in, in a woman's bathroom. And there's a woman here. If yeah. you haven't seen it, guys, just, it's on Twitter. Legit. Uh, there's a woman here washing her hands. So mm. if you can make sense of this for me, would you be okay with this? Would you be okay with a man dressed as a woman? I think I mean, that's a proof right there that uh, like, oh, whichever, again, we've seen like Blair White. Like there's there's members of the trans community that are fine. Oh, yeah. Like they're level-headed. They talk. They like shit like this. They're like, no. But then there's like that, which clearly is just, that is just uh, sexually getting off. As someone who likes to act as a woman, as a fucking uh, a kink, like clearly that's what that is. And then there's people like uh, Dylan sure. Mulvaney. Yeah, that one. That's someone I think just looking for, looking for uh, attention. Basically, yeah, for lack of a better term, they're just looking for attention. Because again, if you watch some trans people, they act like normal people. A true trans person isn't in your face about it. They feel no, the way they the feel, same as, and they live the life to the best of their ability to be exactly what right. they feel. The same as gay, the same as bi, the same like a whole bunch of them. They just live as people and do their thing. Whatever. They're not fucking bothering anyone. Who gives a shit? It's that kind of stuff there. That's one. That's just fucking weird. Like even if it wasn't the trans anything, it's just like if you walk into a bathroom and there's a guy standing in front of the mirror and he's just fucking fondling himself. What are you gonna do? I mean, if I walked into a dude's bathroom... Me too, guy! <laughs> if, I mean, if I walked into a dude's bathroom and I see what appears to be a man finger-banging himself, herself, themself, in the mirror, I'm gonna... Bro, where'd you get the surgery from? <laughs> I mean, like, no, like... Because we've all... I mean... <laughs> Would you, would, would you? <laughs> I don't know if I'd have sex with them, with that person. <laughs> but I mean, how many? Come on, how many pornos have you watched where the girl's playing with herself and you're like, "That's kind of hot." So if, from the waist down, you're like, "That's kind of hot." From huh. the waist up, oh, there I'm confused. <laughs> I'm aroused and, gr- and nauseous at the same time. <laughs> oh wait, achievement unlocked, new kink. God damn it! <laughs> well, well, at least I got a trophy. <laughs> Yes, platinum. <laughs> so apparently, Wait, that means I've accomplished everything I'm ever going to accomplish in life. Yeah. Well, time to kickstart a landmine. 
Oh, what else? Is, what else? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Oh, there's a new one I heard. What? I swear to God, there's some days where I just feel like gagging on a Glock. <laughs> it was a joke, YouTube. Yeah. I'm really not going to kill myself. Rumble your free speech. You're cool. But YouTube, it was a joke. Actually, yeah. probably, a, probably a bad taste joke, especially with everything going on. Oh, there. for God's sakes. Really? I got to cover my ass on YouTube. YouTube is... You know that. I know. You know half the time that I apologize. I don't really mean it. <laughs> that was a joke, YouTube. Sorry. <laughs> oh, jeez. Jane Fonda says, murder the right. I just run with this. <laughs> you know what the difference between an onion and a hooker is? Mm-hmm. I mean, no. I only cry when I cut up an onion. <laughs> that was, was that a joke? That was a joke? Was it? Yeah, that was a joke. Okay, that was a joke. <laughs> Got you guys. <laughs> Jane Fonda guy, or whatever. <laughs> As response to abortion laws. Let's see. This is from Newsweek. Actress Jane Fonda on Friday created controversy. This is like from a week ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, by saying she had thought of murder during a discussion on abortion laws in the United States. The Oscar winner made the remark during an appearance with her Grace and Frankie co-star Lily Tomlin on ABC's The View. So, it's The View again. <laughs> the fucking View. Thank God. Never disappoints. View. I have to trust The View. They do nothing but <laughs> tell me the facts and the truth. I love The View. I live my life by them. This show loves The View. <laughs> when the topic of pro uh, <laughs> protesting the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade was brought up, in June, the Supreme Court released, released a ruling overturning the near 50-year-old decision, Roe v. Wade. Uh, following the news of the ruling, large crowds gathered to protest in Washington. We've already covered that when that happened. First and foremost, before um, you even say one more syllable, just so we're fucking clear, all these fucking pro-life, pro-choice people, get the fuck over yourself. They overturned Roe v. Wade. Here's the issue. Everybody's like, oh, they're taking, double, a, yeah, okay. it, they're, they're taking... Yeah, okay. They're taking... All that hap All that did was take the federal government's control out of the equation. It's state Which by is state. A good thing. You want to go get scraped? Go to a state that says, hey. It's not even that. Like, Ooh. beyond uh, that, it's like, what's it you, called? If you want to change it in your state, use the power to vote. Because now that each state controls it, each state has power over it. And each, which oh. gives the power to the, to, to the, the, the. What's a pro, what's a pro choice state? Pro choice state? Yeah. New York. Okay. New York's pizza and abortion clinic, where your loss is our sauce. And we're canceled. <laughs> no, this one I think might skip YouTube and just go right to Rumble. <laughs> <laughs> just <edit> that part. <laughs> I think I might want to do one of the Crowder things where he just puts a YouTube like. Dee, 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 Please do. Dee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. The court's decision also resulted in so-called trigger laws on abortion policies going into effect in several states. More recently, the f <laughs> fight had shifted to access of abortion pills. Okay, so... The View co-host, Joy Behar, huh, <laughs> asked Fonda what else she would suggest for people who disagree with the court's decision aside from marching and protesting. Quote, well, I've thought of murder, Fonda said. Uh, when Tomlin asked her co-star to repeat herself, Fonda replied, murder? She's just kidding, Behar said, before implying certain people could take Fonda's comment and just run with it. Fonda has long been known for her political activism, which has led her to being arrested for civil disobedience in addition to Netflix hit Grace and Frankie. She also recently starred blah, 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 blah. When contacted for comment, a rep uh, representative for Fonda provided a statement from the actress, quote, while women's reproductive rights are a very serious issue and extremely important to me, my comment on the view was obviously made in jest. My body language and tone made it clear to those in the room and to anyone watching that I was using a hyperbole to make a point. The thing with that is, probably, and we will all make crazy fucking your <laughs> <laughs> God, you said whatever it was. I can't even remember. Scrape and sauce and whatever. New York's uh, pizzeria, New York's pizzeria and abortion clinic, where your loss is our sauce. Yeah. So there's shit like that. 
But the thing is, is if you're on the opposite side of that spectrum and someone hears it, you're just going to run with it. Oh, yeah. And of course, you know, oh, yeah. the right took this and they ran with it. Like exactly the, what the left would fucking do if the right the, said something. Like the joke I just made, if somebody heard that in the wrong context, they could run it. Yeah, or maybe like, I'll clip that for TikTok and see what happens. <laughs> Well, you got that one or this one. Don't worry, TikTok's gonna be fucking canceled. If they died anyways, during right? the rape, is it still considered a rape or is it considered necrophilia? Mm. I guess it all depends on if you finish the race or not. That's true. <laughs> Cross the finish line. Hiya, <laughs> uh. <laughs> <Hey>, what the? <laughs> <laughs> this is why this show is never gonna get famous because yeah, it of truly me. was a roasted turkey. <laughs> oh, never mind. I'll tell you that joke after the camera's off. Okay. That's a little too much. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> uh, Along with the, the, I guess. Fuck it, I'll send it. If you just, tell, just say send it, bro. Uh, well, boys, I think I said it a little too hard. Uh, <laughs> apparently, there's a female movement to repeal the 19th Amendment that's growing. A female movement, which... That gives women the right to vote. Oh. There is a female movement... To repeal the 19th Amendment. Just wanted to say thank you. <laughs> <laughs> also, there's a return, which I don't, thoughts on before before I move on, because there was nothing, like, I, nope, I saw so once that. once they like, were right about something. I, <laughs> I should have never gotten the right to vote. God damn it. Now they expect things of us. I've heard. Like Felicio and <laughs> sandwiches <sighs> and butt stuff. <laughs> I've heard like arguments vaguely on it, but I'm like, that's, it's one of those things. Like, I guess I'm going to stay out of this one because this is basically women fighting with women. And what's like, that? What, what am I going <laughs> to, what was, what fucking show was that? There was a movie or a show. I ain't touching that. And then someone goes, hey, what do you think about this? I ain't touching that. <laughs> oh, God, it might have been stand-up or something. No, I don't think it was stand-up. Uh, maybe it was That's basically where I'm at with it, though. It was, it was like with the abortion thing. I'm like, well, uh, what can I really say? I mean, the only thing I will say is I'm 100% in agreement with it. And you hear it at, like Charlie Kirk and everything and, and, and Steve Crowder, they say it all the time. Are you pro-abortion or pro-life? And they say, I'm pro-choice. like, so you're pro-abortion. And then there's that circle argument. They like, don't like the word abortion. Yeah. That's all. And I'm like, well. It's a trigger word. Because it's like it, um, Matt Walsh. What is a woman? Mm. He's asking that one pediatrician, mm -hmm. do you give chemically castrating drugs to children? No. I give them blah, 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 blah. Yeah, he lists off the drugs or whatever. It, she goes, well, the fact that you, she goes, when you say it like that, he goes, but that's what the definition of a drug, a drug is a medication administered to a person for whatever benefit, whatever effect. You are giving drugs to children. I'm giving help. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, okay. Uh. <laughs> Of course you are. So when I give the bullet that I call help to the bank teller to borrow some money, I'm not going to go to jail by her logic. I'm giving her help to I'm giving, helpful encouragement to give me money. That's, yeah. By that logic, that is actually 100% sound. <laughs> that's the logic. Well, that's the logic. But we're hey, going to jail for this. Someone's going to fucking blame us for robbing a bank or something. <laughs> There is, yeah, and also the return of racial segregation, which is happening more and more. I was now, say, we've seen this before. This is like in the, but that's more from the black community, yes. correct? Yeah. Uh, there's there were videos and stuff. I mean, the Hodgtons were talking about it, like where in in different universities around the states, you see like uh, um, black students were requesting black only dorms or black only gathering spaces and if there were white people there there's this one i don't know if it was TikTok the, or whatever, the students that, in the common room yeah, yeah and the, the one the international one, common room or whatever it was yeah and the one uh black girl comes up and be like he, he, I, well I no know. she it started i know what video you're talking about there was like two girls that were basically berating these two caucasian males right in a common international common room or whatever it was yeah we've talked about this yes before. 
And what triggered the whole thing was on the laptop of the one guy, he had a Blue Lives Matter or the flag with the blue stripe. It had something to do with supporting law enforcement. Right. And they came up and they're like, that's offensive. He goes, well, it's just my opinion, but all lives matter. I have family who's law law enforcement or something like that. He had some, he had merit to support law enforcement. Right. And they took it from that being offended by the the decal on his laptop to a racial standpoint, which they lost. Mm-hmm. They got expelled. They sued yeah. and lost. Yeah, they lost the lawsuit. Too. They lost everything. And now they're in the fucking <clears throat> win. They're nothing. Because well, the narrative didn't pan out. Uh, yeah, I did. I Yeah, I remember that because we talked about that was the last year when that, yeah. when that actually went down. Yep. From 2012 to 2015, the split in race has drastically increased, which is during Obama's years. So go fucking figure. Which the thing, <laughs> Obama's thing was he he would never talk about problems in America. He no. he, he would just kind of breeze over them. Look that, look at how much good is going think, on right yeah, now because we got something going on here, but there's a lot of good still going on. We got to focus on the positive. It's, it's a little negative, but we're good. Here's the positive. Remember to pay attention to the positive because that's what breeds a strong nation. That's what everyone. Um, that's why everyone considers Obama like a, the such worst. A, su- no, such a great president. If you talk to a lot of just nonchalant, like not politicos or anything, mm-hmm. they look at Obama as like, oh, he was a great president. He was like a unifier, and he was like really personable, which he was personable. He was like a great talker, very charismatic. You're, but everything that would fucking like that happened in his administration, like within days of him getting in office when he'd always talk about how Bush Jr. was like, oh, we're in wars, we're going to get out of these wars. Days after he got in office, he okayed a fucking bombing in, what, Somalia? Syria. Syria? Yeah, it was Syria. And killed fucking kids. Yeah. And an American citizen. Yep. Citizen. So I'll have to find it. There's an article I read about statistics. The statistics and the the facts and the demographics of every president we've had so far. Mm-hmm. We've had 46 presidents, I believe. 46, 47? Uh, 46. 46. He's in the bottom five. For, Is he really? For he's, he's in the top 10, I think, of worst presidents we've ever had. And he's in the bottom like five to 10 of best presidents we've ever had. Out of 46. Yeah. He's one of i'm sorry and when you stop and think about it you it, it was more gl- he you ever seen the movie the illusionist no. with um hugh jackman christian bale and what's the guy who plays alfred in the christian bale batmans uh michael kane michael kane yeah he plays in it no 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 he's in um now you see me Who's the old guy in that one? Regardless, it's all about... Or wait, no. (laughs) Do you know where you are? (laughs) Hold on. (laughs) I think The Illusionist was with uh, Edward Norton. I might be wrong. All right. Continue. You you go ahead. I'll tell you. All right. Well, in that time frame, the acceptance of interracial relationships went from in the black community. The Illusionist was with Edward Norton. Sorry. In the black community, it was accepted, 63% accepted. And in the white community, it was 75% accepted. And from that was in 2012 to 2015, it went down to 51% accepted in the black community. And from 75 to 43% accepted in the white community. What do you got? The Prestige. Okay. Remember that movie? No. Hold on. Okay, got to continue. I don't think so. I'll explain my opinion. In a At the same time of all this racial segregation... In, like this bringing back of it, there's more and more uh, segregated entertainment companies like uh, BET, um, uh, what else? And all these streaming platforms, they have black subcategories like black entertainment and stuff like that. And, and I think I even saw Latino, except Latino, the community isn't really... <laughs> They're not really biting into it as much. No. Um, I think Hulu has it. I know Peacock has it. Paramount has it. Netflix has it. Amazon has it. Um, I d- 
don't know if Disney does. I don't know. I haven't had Disney since last Disney se- spring. Uh, the segregation, the woke kind of thing. You yeah. Mean? Oh yeah, they do. Oh yeah, they do. So, Tinkerbell's black. Ariel's black. There's actually it started out as a joke. But apparently, no, no, I mean, like the category, you know how they have the subcategories for movies you might like. It's just subcategories of black entertainment, mm-hmm. whatever. I believe they do. So all jokes aside, it started as a joke months ago. But now I guess there's some, I'll f- see if I can find the article again. There is some leaked rumor. You're going to love this one. Disney's talking about making a live action. Tarzan. They did. No, 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 no. With during this whole woke ah, geez. episode, Tarzan's gonna be Chinese. I know we can't be Chinese right now, we're at war with them, apparently. You're talking about a movie that depicts a Caucasian man right. overthrowing a gorilla, yeah, <laughs> like Disney, really. Are they gonna? No, they're gonna change it. It's gonna be like he's gonna overthrow like a, a fucking zebra or something. Well, no, he doesn't overthrow him, but I know. Yeah. In the in, in the movie, if you remember, like his father, mm-hmm. he ends up wrestling him to to stop him from hurting Jane mm-hmm. and her father, and he overpowers him. Right. Wait, God, God, Disney! I want to see the live action of uh, depiction that you make of a white male, a Caucasian male. In the jungle, overpowering a black gorilla. You know, a lot of these companies that are getting away from the ESG score and everything. Oh, yeah. uh, Vanguard is. Um, I guess... Oh, is it Netflix? I think it's Netflix is also getting away from it. Because it's been said many times before during the last couple of years. Get woke, go broke. Yep. I mean, it was a Trump said everything woke turns to shit. He and I, I like, no, he's not. And uh, all the saying, get woke, grow bro- go broke, is 100% dead on. I mean, everything that... Disney started to do the woke thing with their Marvel movies and all this shit is coming out. And I haven't watched... Like, I haven't... I wanted to see Quantumania, the new Ant-Man. Yeah, I've got no... I know. And that's the thing. And maybe that's because I'm just marveled out. Because we had 22 movies prior to that, up to Endgame. And after that, I watched a couple of them. And I'm like... Ugh. Cash grabs. It, it's just not. I don't even know if it's that. It's just not. They're trying to build to the next series and the next phases, and I'm just not, the only one that I've seen is was it 2025 or whatever Avengers uh, Secret Wars, because that comic story arc is awesome. I'm like, man, they're gonna have so many fucking characters in that. But so the the reason I brought up the movie The Prestige earlier, and it's right. funny now that I'm thinking about it, it's really kind of applying to what's going on. So when it comes to a magic trick, there's three phases. The pledge, the magician shows you something ordinary. Right. The second act is called the turn. And then the third act is called the prestige. This is where the part this is the part where the twists and the turns kick in. Oh, so Obama. it's like it's like when we saw that trans woman in the bathroom, the pledge is you see the woman. It's like, oh, the turn is when her hand starts going down to her skirt. And the prestige is when she pulls it up. <laughs> the wiener! Ah! No, so I'm fooled. Yeah, good. Obama <laughs> definitely good with the pledge. Right. Everything about was I want to do all this. We gotta do this. We gotta do this. The turn. He comes into office. He starts doing things. The prestige. Whoa, wait, what the fuck? He bombed Syria and killed kids and an American person? Right. If you think about it, with everything going on, leading up to the pandemic. From before Trump, we had the pledge where everything was normal. Mm -hmm. Trump comes into the office, and we have the turn. Hey, something's happening. Now we have the prestige. Men are dressing up as women, masturbating in bathrooms. President Joe Biden's talking about an ice cream truck that he has while there's a gun, right after a gun uh, school shooting. That's right. I fuck. That's legit. Yeah, that is legit. <laughs> I forgot about that. I, ju- I watched it, and I actually laughed at a person who showed me at, at my company that I work with. He goes, oh, check this out. Dude, this is legit. I'm like, ah, it's probably one of those fake video things. Like, you put that audio recording in the group chat of me yeah. talking about everybody cuddling. <laughs> snuggling and cuddling. Snuggle struggle. Um, I'm like, no, nah, somebody put that together. That's not real. He goes, you really think so? Like, Isn't that you- fucked we're at that point now? Like, we were talking about a few. Episodes. Where you can't. Fucking tell. Yeah, now it's like yeah. I watched it two, like, three times, and I'm like, some of them are just like, fuck. This might be legit, or it could be a bad lip reading. Yeah, and somebody dubbed 
his voice over the bad lip reading. Yeah, it, it's but it's, it's, it's legit. Sucks. It was live, like on air. Right. That shit was aired. Yeah, I, I did. I did hear. I didn't see it, but I did hear about it. I'm like, wow. Which that could really go. I mean, not to make this a left and right thing, but if you wanted to make that stretch, go all the way back to 9/11. When Bush, when they attacked the uh, uh, the um, World Trade Center, and Bush was reading a story, or he's there while he's the story is the being reading to the was kindergartners or yeah. whatever it was, and he just stayed there while. Which, okay, I, I understand the argument is like he didn't want to um, alert. Yeah, he didn't want to alert the kids and everything, but it's like I'm sorry, we're under a terrorist attack. Kids, I gotta go. I don't know about you boys and girls, but I could sure go for a milk. I'll be right <laughs> back, guys. Who wants milk? You want milk? You want milk? I can't do the George Bush impression very well, but you want milk? You want milk? Hey, come here, pretty lady. What the fuck? Yeah, so... He's Joe Biden Jr. <laughs> is he? He's as old as Joe Biden, isn't he? I think he? he actually might be younger, I don't know. Which is... <laughs> I don't know, but <laughs> maybe Hold on. Not. Hold on. That was W, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, Junior. George W. Jr. Yeah. You look up how old is Joe Biden? 81? Or 82? 81? One of the two. He's in... Uh, Bush... Uh, Biden's in his 80s? Yeah, Biden is... I think 81. Maybe 82. I'll confirm it, but... According to this, George W. Bush Jr.? Hmm? 76 years old. Yeah, well, there you go. He is younger than Biden our current fucking president. Is GWB could be president again if he 80. didn't serve he's two terms. He's 80. Yeah, he's 80. Uh, failed politician. Failed career politician. 50 years in uh, in our political service and not really doing much. Whatever. It's fucked up. Yeah. Well, as a hard segue, you can, which actually should have talked about this earlier when we were talking about the the your friend in the fucking bathroom there. <laughs> hey, listen. You, Shigai does not like being referred to as anything other than Shigai. Shigai, what, what's it? <laughs> Is that Ugandan? Because Uganda. <laughs> Passes a bill making anything LGBTQ illegal. Illegal. I heard about yeah. that. Yeah. I'm like what? Now I go. I look at it. And I'm like, they got to be from Tennessee. That. Because <laughs> you're the only ten I see. <laughs> that. It, they talk about extreme right all the time. It's like that is extreme right. What the left considers extreme right. Like, We're not going. Why are we, nobody's why, fucking pushing for this shit? I said, why isn't the left going over there and fighting? Please do. <laughs> Yeah, so I just want to throw that one. Oh in there. yeah, so they banned it. Yeah, th Straight they're making up. it illegal. Anything, anything in that community illegal. Which the only thing I would agree with in that whole community, or what's trying to be in that community, is the pedo community. You want to ban that, make it illegal? Fuck yeah, please. <laughs> oh, jeez. I think right here is where I'll end the YouTube one. <laughs> so everyone that's watching made it this far on YouTube. Go over to Rumble. Check us out there because we'll talk about the spicier things there. So, bye. Bye, YouTube. <laughs>